this is the steam shut off valve it does work I just want to have a little look and see to see what the, the pattern's like it's just a, a gland that's exactly the same as what we've just been looking at this will polish up nicely it's just got that lovely colour bronze you can see that's brass and that's bronze the difference in colour now that's different type of packing in there that will be asbestos that's the white asbestos packing for the superheated steam we don't want to go sniffing that too much I will be I'm going to dig it out and replace it it's the dust off the asbestos it's the the thing is bad for you in fact I'm going to leave it well alone I have got some asbestos packing but we'll just leave that alone I'll put a little bit of steam oil in there just to lubricate it a little bit the valve body actually unscrews but I don't think there's any point in unscrewing it because it does actually work and there's plenty of follower up there so we know that there's plenty of packing material in there so we'll just leave that well alone I'll leave the hand off now clean this up I'll just use a wire wheel to polish it, that's all it needs. Looks like red hermitite on there. You can see the... I think you may be able to see it inside there, I'll get the camera in a bit closer. Right, once again if I shine my torch in there, you can see the valve coming up of its seat. That actually floats around on the end of the spindle. Free floating. See it moving around there held on by a wedge, anyway that goes down onto the seat and these valves only work in one direction the steam pressure actually helps to, to seal it once we get this governor attached to the engine it's possible to give it a, a run on a compressed air and see if this actual governor valve assembly works like it's supposed to work This is the union on the top, that's where the oil feed goes. We'll have to blank that off. Some of oil in there won't hurt anything. I spent a bit of time clearing this valve up. Actually, there's got an arrow on for the direction of flow. We may be looking here. Indeed, we are. I've got an adapter that goes from that, which is half inch BSP, to my airline fitting. So now we'll put the alien on, sure to make it work. Not much way that valve works. I think up's fully open and down's fully closed. We'll put some air on 
and see what happens. And it's such a steam valve or the stop valve fully open. So in theory if we push that up, it does indeed. That's fully open. And then that will close the steam off. Right, so that valve certainly works. Brass check what went under there. And this sort of thing here, this connects the, the linkage to the mechanical governor. It also acts as a collector for any steam and oil that comes out of there in a little collector pot. And it actually drains down that tube into a, a little collector. Certainly attention to detail. Right. This is the linkage that goes onto here and operates a steam valve. And there's a link bar that goes into there. Like that, and that is connected onto there with the clever pin. This is seized on here, this brass part. That pivot pin is actually seized on there. I'm going to try a little bit of heat on, see if it'll free it off, because that's got to move on there. But it's certainly starting to take shape as a spring, and then just that go onto there. This will be a fine adjustment. And your two big nuts of the course adjustment. Well, the next thing is to try and get that to move in there. Right, so that's absolutely see solid in there. A little bit of careful heat on there. That hasn't been so like there. That's actually a little bit of bronze casting. I cleaned all these up. I just used a wire wheel on a, a grinder and a cup very nicely indeed. You can see there the, the brass nut, and that's the bronze casting, definite difference in colour. Right, so we're going to apply a little bit of heat and see if we can get it to move. It takes a while to get stabilised the flame on this, but once it's, once it's good, it's a lovely Controllable flame. I'm going to keep this below red because bronze melts in a, a red heat. That was simple. That was absolutely. You no, know, it hasn't hasn't faded off. All it's done is loosen the, the two check nuts up. I thought that was too good to be true. Right, that's moving now, definitely moving. Right, that worked out a lot easier than I thought it would. We'll get some oil onto it. And obviously, I'm going to take it apart and polish the pin up. So that's that give up quite nicely. See the shape, it's not round, so it's definitely a, a casting. Right. So the heat did its job and that come apart. 
very nicely indeed. Make sure it goes back on the same way around, so we'll just carefully lie it there. And that pin wants a good polish up. Clean it on there won't do any harm. I think it was I think it was that way. I'm just gonna wind the tape back and have a look. Right, it does indeed go on like that. Right, that drops onto there. And there was a spring washer, believe it or not. And a brass nut on there. So that should tighten up onto a shoulder and leave that free to operate, which it is. All this stuff would polish up really nice if you were that way inclined. Right, so that's working the way it's supposed to. That's never moved on, on there for a long time. Right, so that goes onto there that way. And that links into the steam valve with a little brass clevis pin. These are adjustable, our left right hand thread, so everything is fully adjustable. And that's how the, the valve works. So with the valve fully open, that needs to be touching on the centrifugal part of the governor and there's a bob where it's go out, it's going to push that, that way, or that way. It needs to start off with a valve fully open, which is there. And as the bob weights get pushed out, it's going to go down like that and close the steam off. It'll end up floating around the middle somewhere to keep a, a constant, uh, constant RPM on it. That's quite nice that. So I've got to set this up and drill through there for a pin. This little thing that catches the, the oil and water, it's got a little, little cup that goes on there and that actually goes into a drain, put the drain pot on there, as well as these two pipes off the, the cylinder steam drains. So I'm going to put the air on again and just make sure that it's fully up when it's wide open and that is touching on there so we can basically drill that hole right so that's the stop valve fully open when that goes up and as that pushes away from there it's going to take the steam off so no, it's going to be fully open 
and that's going to be touching the, the counterpart of the governor. That up there, and that touching in there, drill a hole through there and put a new pin in. I'll move things around a little bit and we'll go, we'll get that done. Originally this was pinned on with a tape I pin. I haven't got any tape I pins. I've got a, a modern day roll pin, so I'm going to use a roll pin. 3mm roll pin, 3mm drill. That's actually 3.2 and you use a 3mm drill. So that needs to be up there, that touch in there. I'm going to use the original hole, which actually went through at an angle, but I'm going to go straight through so it comes out in a different position just to make sure it gets a, a decent hold. Everything sort of lined up there. It's a new drill, it's going through nicely. Everything's still in place, so. Right, that's it through. Next thing is to tap the roll pin in. Everything's sort of still nicely in place. And there is adjustment on here. So I'm not sort of... I'll knock that through and then cut it off with a little grinder once it's all the way through. I know it's not what was in originally, but if they had tape, I roll bastard. If they had tape, I, oh, if they had roll pins in there, that's the same. Thumb that. If they had had these pins, I would have used them. That really hurt that bastard thing. Right. Same thumb. I've had to shorten this rod slightly. So what happens is that is touching on the mechanical part of the governor. That valve is fully up and the clever's pin slips in just nicely. So when you start the engine up, it starts on full throttle. As the revs increase, the bob weights fly out, that comes back and that's what controls you engine speed I'll put the alien on and try it once more so that should be closed off there you can see that's come right back and sure enough it is and as we It's going to take a lot of steam to make this work properly. So that's it, full throttle with the fork touching. And as the revs increase, the fork gets pushed back until it sustains its whatever RPM you've set it at. There are the course controls on that big spring there, that depends how far back the mechanical governor pushes. I need to make a pipe up to go from here up to the top of there. I think it went round the back of there, some sort of route. And I've got to sort that fitting off the top of there. I have got the original union off there. It's 316 pipe. And I've got some 316 copper brake line that'll do the job. That's just a little bit more pipe work to do. I need glands to pack. And I think next Friday we're going to be going out with Richard's steam wagon. So we might even get some steam into it.